So in this next pretty short video, uh, we're going to continue our discussion on um, sex chromosomes 2. So I'm going to write that down on the top. And specifically what I want to do here is obviously look at X-linked genes as a continuation. But even more specifically, what I want to finish off sex chromosomes 2 with is a Punnett square. So we're going to do this uh, cross. And this cross will be very simple. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cross a normal male, XY male, normal meaning C. Let's just write that down again. C is greater than lowercase c. C is equal to color vision. And C lowercase is equal to color blindness. Okay, we established that. C, capital C is dominant to lowercase c. And we have this relationship because of that. So we have a normal male. And I'm going to cross this normal male with uh, a normal female, but I'm going to make things a little interesting. I'm going to make that normal female phenotypically, but genotypically I'm going to make her a carrier. And that should tell you that I have to put what on this second X chromosome? A carrier for this recessive color blindness allele. So here we go. Two normal looking parents on the outside. Both of them have color vision. This happens all the time. And I'm going to cross them. And so we're going to do a very basic Punnett square from this. So I'm going to put, so let's put female at the top. So we have XC, X, lowercase c. And I'm going to cross this female with a male. XC, XY. Oh, let me do that over. XC and then a Y. So of course, this means a recessive allele, thus it means color blindness. So the gametes that the female can make are either this one, the normal X chromosome that has normal color vision, or an X chromosome that has color blindness. The gametes that the male can make in terms of sex chromosomes, the sex chromosomes possible in the male are X normal with color vision and Y means that there's going to be a male um, son, let's say, from this cross, from this uh, mating event. So let's do it. Let's see what happens. What we get in the first situation is when we cross these two where my mouse is pointing, we get X capital C, X capital C. And then if we do this one, we get X capital C with X lowercase c. Okay, nothing crazy here. Now we do this one, Y with X capital C. That gives us X capital C with y, and then here we go, last one, x, lowercase c, with a line through it, and y. So we've got a 50-50 ratio of what? Of course, we have 50%. These are our females, and these are our males. But what's crazy and what's sort of interesting, I hope at least to you, I know it is to me, is the fact that out of two normal parents, Think of this as two normal flies, let's say, from our first Thomas Hunt Morgan flowchart. We end up with one mutant right here, and that mutant, for some reason, always seems to be what? Always is XY, is always male. So we're going to write this down. This seems that like it's not fair, because it isn't fair. Males are at a complete disadvantage in terms of sex-linked traits like colorblindness because we get a colorblind male out of two parents that were both normal. Two both normal parents and you still get a colorblind male shows you that maleness, the trait for maleness, sort of counteracts whatever's happening here because we don't have another thing to mask the effect of our lowercase c mutant color blindness allele like the thing right above it right here we have a masking event you should understand why over here we have no masking event here there's no necessary masking event here we need a masking event but we don't have it because there's a y and y don't have the Y chromosome, the Y sex chromosome, doesn't have anything to mask the color blindness of this X chromosome. Thus, the male is always going to be colorblind. Colorblind male, we're going to write always in this cross specifically. Okay, put a star next to it in terms of this cross right here. 
And this is almost exactly what Thomas Hunt Morgan saw. You should be able to go back to our first Thomas Hunt Morgan um, video and that cross might have been really confusing back then. Now it should make a lot more sense. So some basic conclusions I want to write out of this. And we're going to write them down over here. Some basic conclusions to finish off sex chromosomes too. So some conclusions. It's always good to wrap up everything with some basic facts that you should know. What we have, and sort of I've said a million times, are two phenotypically normal what? Normal parents, of course, in our P1 generation, or let's say parent generation specifically. And then this is our F1 that is results out of all of these guys, are our F1 generation. Two normal, two pheno, let's write pheno normal parents. Oops. Be no normal parents get CB colorblind son. Kind of weird, kind of non Mendelian. Start thinking of weird as non Mendelian, okay? In addition, we notice and we've established that the son can't do what? This colorblind son, let's say CB son, can't mask. There's that word again. This is a common word we see in much of genetics can't mask whose recessive allele did he actually get this x lowercase c over here was received by who this is mom right here mom donated this mom was normal it is mom's let's say for lack of a better phrase fault that he gets this but it's his own maleness fault for not having something to block its effect the son can't mask mom's recessive allele because he has the Y. That fat Y is sitting right there telling you, okay, it's going to be a male. That's good. You know, having a 50-50 ratio, we're going to have a male. But guess what? You're not going to be able to mask. I specifically as a Y chromosome, I'm not going to be able to mask anything. I'm just here to make sure you're male. Mom's recessive allele because he has Y. Okay? And lastly, what I want you to understand is that this is considered an X-linked recessive disorder. There's another X-linked recessive disorder, uh, X-linked recessive disorder in your notes, known as hemophilia. Be aware of this. Hemophilia is another, similar to colorblindness, X-linked recessive disorder. Um, let's say X-linked recessive disorder is equal to, let's say, CB colorblindness, specifically red green. Hemophilia is another one you should know. This is another X-linked recessive disorder. Um, what I want you to do in your own time is imagine that you have a father, I'm going to tell you, um, has hemophilia with hemophilia. So give me a father with hemophilia, knowing what you know about X-linked recessive disorders. Um, and that father with hemophilia has daughter with hemophilia. Okay? How is this possible? And what I would love for you guys to do is to show me how you guys do this within the forum section of our website of biology. Post in the discussion forum that you did this and you got these results. Is it right? I'm going to be checking and making sure things are right. This is the application of knowledge. I want to try to involve you guys a little bit more. So post your results at the forum.